Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Jeff and Ryan, and apparently hey. Jeff just went through puberty. Uh, this Welcome. is. Are you feeling different? In I feel areas? a little hairy. All right. Uh, Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. What? Whoa. Yeah, the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. It's a. Uh, it's kind of a sort of MOBA game. It's. It kind of combines like a first or a third person kind of MOBA single player with a dungeon builder. And you're playing as Magneto? Uh, you, do, you have three different classes. <laughs> okay. uh, I am, yeah, clearly Magneto because Magneto of electricity. Class. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's uh, you have a, a wizard, a knight, or an archer to choose from, and then you build up your characters. It's got skills. It's got inventory. I mean, you you know load out just like your standard MMO style uh, inventory sheet. Uh, and then the whole thing is you attack other players' castles, okay. other actual players' castles. Oh yeah. They're not there. They're just it's just you know an AI run castle. Okay. Uh, and then you collect, you know, gems and gold and use that to build up your own castle. So how does that work then? Like, do you just, like, say you go to school, you play in the say morning you and school, you go to school right? and you come home and your castle's just been fucked? Yeah, yeah. You'll just get a list of people that have come and had their way with your castle. Really? You will see what they did. You can actually watch a replay, too, and see exactly what awesome. they did and uh, where they died or if they made it all the way through. So you can learn up how to, sh- like, how to shore your defenses up. Exactly. And, stuff. and do, can you lose stuff? Like, can you just come home and have, like, half the gold that you had yep. when you left? Yeah, they can actually raid your storage. After a certain number of times uh, being attacked, it will actually lock you down so that they can't get much more out of you. Okay. Uh, for a certain amount of time, depending on how much was taken from you. Uh, and that kind of protects you from losing everything. Uh, one other thing you can do is, aside from just attacking other actual player characters, there are, are kind of challenge maps, and they are just kind of pre-made dungeons that you can run through. You don't get as much money for them, but they have some interesting things in it, and you have to actually uh, beat a top pre-made dungeon to level up to the next area. Oh, really? Their, their castles are separated by levels. Okay. And at the top of each cloud of castles is a pre-made dungeon that you have to beat to get to the next cloud, even what? if your character levels up. What level are you? I'm currently level 11. What a bitch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm a punk. I think it goes up to like 40. You're a, what did you say, level 12? 11. 11? You're Ducky X. I am a Ducky X. Yeah, there you go. I'm a Mage Ducky X. Mage Ducky X. Magneto Ducky X. <laughs> Can you bait and switch people and make it like really easy and then they think that they're just rolling through some noob's castle? And then, uh, I'm sorry for saying that word, by the way. And then... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a hateful <laughs> term. Yeah, I know. Then... Uh, then they get trapped in some sort of mega dungeon. You, uh, you absolutely could. You can, whenever you're selecting who you're going to attack, kind of see a couple stats. One being how many heroes have died in that castle already. Okay. Uh, and you can see kind of what their loose defense rating is. Oh, really? So you you have an idea going into it that someone may or may not be have a secret somewhere in the castle. But you and also you, there's no co-op or like straight up versus, right? Like you're no. only playing against AI versions of. Uh, or NPC well, versions. Well, their of. actual hero character never appears in the dungeon. Okay. It's just whatever defenses that they have set up. And then their hero goes off and attacks other people's dungeons. Man, this seems like a recipe for just hate. Yeah. Pissing, pissing people off. Yeah, because it tells... Well, not only that, though, it does give you... Uh, when you go in and someone takes your castle apart, uh, you get a link to replay, but you also get a link to re- revenge and attack their castle. Oh, really? So, yeah, you can go back and go after them. Uh, if you die, you don't get anything uh, other than the satisfaction of finishing it if you <laughs> respawn yourself, which you can do for money. Uh, but uh, it's it's actually a really quick game. Like, you can just hop in, do a couple rounds of attacking, you know, shore up your defenses a little bit. It takes a little while to actually uh, accumulate enough money to upgrade all your characters. Like, everything's upgradable. Okay. You can put trap minions down in your castle as defense, and you can upgrade them. Is there, a, like, a max castle size, or can you just keep making your castle bigger? And as bigger and you, bigger? I'm sure there's a cap somewhere, but as you level up uh, what's actually the architect's office inside your castle, you can add more and more rooms. Okay. So it can get longer and longer. Uh, I think that means you get longer and longer time. The, the whole thing is based on not just you have to fight everything, but you have to do it in a certain amount of time. Oh. At the top right corner, there's a little dial that just counts down. And this game is free to play? Free to play. Will be. It's currently be. just closed beta. Yeah. Uh, if you want to get into it, though, right now, they're actually having an open house that uh, runs October 28th through November 4th. Uh, and there's, like, some Halloween-themed stuff that kind of comes with that. Refreshments? Uh, yeah, you had some light refreshments, a little <laughs> nice. pumpkin spiced lattes, Sweet. Uh, that kind of thing. Uh, but uh, you can get in and play the beta now during that open house. Uh, after that, though, you would have to actually buy a uh, Founders Pack to get into the beta so that you could continue playing. 
What do you so? But is, this is going to be a free to play game. It will be a free to play game once it comes out. Okay, so but yeah. do you like you're paying for early access type thing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah so that's you can very very in vogue these days. Yeah. Are there microtransactions? How does that work? Uh, there are microtransactions. That's kind of a third currency that you can use to uh, just hurry things along. Okay. So the like if you're an impatient prick like Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. If you're yeah. an impatient prick like Michael, who we all know is a huge impatient prick. Yeah. Uh, then you can just spend a little bit Get of that. To the point already. <laughs> <laughs> then you can just spend a little bit of that to make things move along a little bit faster. So you can level up a little faster. There's still a lot of things that you have to work and earn, though. When I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know something. All right. When you least expect it, I'm yeah. gonna sack the shit out of your castle. <laughs> <laughs> Come do it, man. If you can find me, you can do it. <laughs> You can play now and uh, get in on it. After the 4th, you will have to go buy Founders Pack, which there's a link in the description if you want to go do that. Or there's a link that you can follow just to go play it right now during the open house. Awesome.